I have evidence that proves at least one seller is making up these bank wrapped Morgan dollar rolls from coins that they bought. So stay tuned to see that evidence. As I've shown you before, before I get started, if you need to find a legitimate dealer, come right over here to CoinZip. You can go to CoinZip Auctions as well. Those are all legitimate dealers that have been checked out, verified. But you can come over here and you can take a look at CoinZip and find you a decent dealer to buy coins off of. I have another video on these Morgan Dollar Rolls. And I talk about the evidence for the rolls not being legit. But now I have some evidence that was presented to me by someone who's done a little bit of investigating over the last year. And I'm going to share that with you. You know, there's a couple things that you need to know first before I get started that I didn't include in the last video. Now, I want to kind of recap a little bit because when you come over here, you want to look at there's bid retractions. He's had zero. But when you're looking at some of these, in this area here, you'll see revised feedback. Some of these sellers have a lot of revised feedback, meaning it was either negative or neutral. And somehow through either refunds or whatever, uh, the actual feedback was modified and revised. Here is um, another one uh, to look at. It said here that it has CCs on both ends and he says that the roll is pre-21. There's no way he could know that roll is pre-21. It could have all kinds of 21s in it. Morgan dollars were in bags and if they got rolled up they were just pulled out of the bags. I mean yeah someone could have counted them, went through them, whatever. One of the things about this too is that these ends are so bright white. You know Whenever a Morgan dollar is in contact with this paper, this paper has chemicals in it. Uh, obviously, when they're stored, there'll be a lot more toning on the ends. That's why they call them in roll tones. So that's a couple other things to uh, understand as well, or at least to look at. And another thing, they were never rolled in ten, uh, basically ten dollar rolls. I mean, this is just something that looks neat and cool. You know, it doesn't make any promises. But people can overpay for this. I mean, $529, you know, you're talking about $52, almost $53 a piece. So now I want to show you a few things that was uh, shared with me. I tried to keep these in an order. This one sold on 6, 3 of 18. And you really can't see the coin all that well, but you can see there's a crescent toning. Sold for $171.50. Here's a little better image of it. You can see the crescent toning. You can see a little bit of the mark here. There's some little distinguished marks you can see. Well, over here is a very similar toned coin. Okay. It's not easy. This here is not 100% proof. They might be two different coins, but you know, when you look at the toning patterns, they're very similar. It's just that the image is at different angles. You can see the marks I'm trying to compare here. It's kind of hard to do, but we'll move on to the next one. This one was an 84cc um, with uh, toning. And here's a little closer image. And what I want you to notice is this right here. See that? Then you see this little shape right here, toning shape. Right in here, look at this, the little lighter areas. Because that's very important to know that when you get to this. Now this is the roll, even with it being a bad image of the roll that was sold with this coin in it, you can tell pretty much from this image alone that it's probably the same coin. It looks almost like the same coin. And it sold for $2,675. And he put CCs on both ends. Here is an up close of the coin that was sold in a GSA holder. And this is the coin that was sold in the roll by the buyer. Now, as far as I can tell, it's not the same account that's buying, obviously. But here, you can actually look. You can see here and here. There, see the marks in these areas? I'm going to try not to cover it up with the cursor, but you look all the way down through here. Here's that mark again. It's on the GSA coin. Here's that other little mark. It is very difficult to, to me to understand how two coins could tone exactly alike. Okay, I've not seen it. There's always going to be something different about each one of them. It's like mint errors. They're just going to be something different. The way he took these images, this here is uh, under some flash of some sort, but you can still see lines. I can see evidence of it here. It's kind of hard to see. I can blow it up. 
But this right here really gets me because I can see a straight line, but when you get a curve like that, there was something special against that coin. You can look under these and the A. I mean, it's just similar toting. And you can take a look at the coins. And remember, this is behind a plastic holder, too. This coin is not. But, well, that's some pretty good evidence there that this coin bought in GSA holder was cracked out and sold in this uh, roll right here that was uh, wrapped up. And like I said, you can you can crimp a roll tight and do it at the house. Here's another image. Like I said, you can see that little swirl marker again. You can see that long line again. You can see the white in this image. And this was from a while back. As you can see, you can compare this one to this one. And what I've got coming up here next is the best evidence. Uh, I, what we have here is a 94S that was sold for $897. And this was September 19th of 2019. This can be looked at right now. You can come down here and you can see the number, or the whole number right here. Hold on. Right there, you can see the entire number. You can look this up yourself. You can examine it yourself if you have any doubts. But I want you to look at this coin. Look it over real good. You know, look at the contact marks, look at the shape of the marks, look at the location of the marks. And then come over here to this roll and look at this coin and examine it closely. Now, this was sold by one of the sellers that was in my uh, last video. And we looked at their feedback, and I think this was the one that had, um, let's see, look over here. Basically, had 18 revised feedback. Right there, and it tells you why it's what's well, revised for. Now this is received as a seller. He sold these rolls before. He sold multiple rolls of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at this really close. Okay, here's the image of the coin that was sold in the holder, 94S. Okay, if you look here, you can see this. If you come over here, look right here. This is a, a gouge underneath the cheek. No two coins are gouged the same. Here's that gouge. The other thing, you see these lines right here of toning? There's a little bit of peripheral toning. Look over here on this coin. Do you see what I mean? I mean, you could go through and you can look at all of it. Now, there's some blurriness. There's some difficulty in seeing some of the details. But the actual contact patterns are identical. I mean, you could. there's just no way in the world that anybody in a court of law is going to look at this and say, man, they're two different coins. You can't say that. I'm going to do some more examining here. Um, one of the things to, to note is, do you see this little, it's like a little A shape here. If you go over here, you can see the same thing. It's a little more prominent here, but you can see it. Yeah, so, now what's important to notice on these is that the date right here, and that's on all of these, okay? This coin was sold September 19th of 2019. Now the roll in question that looks like the same coin on the end of the bank wrap roll is September 29th, 2019. So it wasn't like someone bought this roll and then had it graded and here's this one that sold. It's backwards. This coin sold after this coin. 10 days. Okay. That's what the distinction is here with some of these. The ones that were graded, they were in holders weren't in holders afterwards, and you don't put a, a coin in a GSA legitimately anyways. That came from the government. But that's what we're looking at here, are dates. The holder coins sold before the coins in the roll that look similar or the same. You know, like I said, this was some information that was sent to me by somebody who watched my last video on these Morgan Dollar rolls. And I appreciate that. I appreciate any input. Anybody can send me emails or messages uh, for further evidence of this kind of activity. You know, I believe this would stand up in the court of law. But like I said, I'm not doing legal stuff here. I'm presenting the evidence. A lot of people can draw their own conclusions. I've drawn my conclusion. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please share this video. It's very important this is shared. Uh, also subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Um, there's going to be more in the future. And have a great day.